Alrighty, YouTube, I'm back with another video here. This is just an open box on the uh, Eastwood Hot Coat Powder Coating System, the PCS 150 Single Voltage Powder Coating System. And as you can see here, I'm in my garage working, but everything that you see on a car here is actually for this car that it's here. I've been putting in a lot of work in this car, putting a whole new uh, disc brake system, Will Wood. I would do a little tour, but it's just such a tight space. But uh, this video is pretty much dedicated to this uh, Eastwood system that I have here. And then I have the Fuji system on the side here, which I'll kind of touch up on as to why I'm doing an open box on this, but I also have that. And as you can see here, this system, this is what comes in a box. It's pretty much just a gun uh, attached to a bottle. And then you have your voltage here for your KVP uh, power connector and also your switch here to activate the power when you're powder coating. And this is a grounding system actually. Uh, when I'm powder coating, I will attach this in here to the part in which I have the uh, item which I'm powder coating and it's a single voltage system it does not really have adjustments just an off and on and you fill your bottle up here with the powder coat and you start spraying and uh, what I also did because I'm doing this and with shipping and everything there's always a delay I also purchased uh, extra powder in our bottles here which I'll bring to the side put that right here and as you can see I got the uh, this is just a clear this is a chrome powder coating super chrome and I also got a gold and the reason for that is this car I will uh, attempt to paint with the Fuji spray system but also for my powder coating purposes a couple of the emblems here I got these off of eBay I wire weld it with my Ryobi tool here. And uh, they actually came out kind of nice. And uh, if I could touch up a little more, they would actually come out much better. I don't have a sandblasting system. So what I'm doing, I'm wire welding and I'm degreasing everything. And then I'm gonna attempt to powder coat. And this is it here, just some emblems. And uh, where the Fuji system comes into play is that I'm doing everything out of my garage. And I don't have room anywhere to put a compressor. So I've been back and forth with the uh, Fuji reps here. And uh, I was told that this machine right here can pretty much do the job to which a compressor can do with a professional finish. It's all knowledge. You could have, I guess, the cheapest system, but if you know what you're doing, then, you know, you can apply the knowledge that you have to produce a professional finished job. And I'm not no professional. I'm pretty much doing everything here. Pretty much did the whole braking system on this car by myself, and if I had some light in here, I would show you. But towards the bottom here, everything is disc brakes, new springs, new brake lines, e-brakes, everything is pretty much new. And I'm doing it right out of my garage. But like I said, this is just an open box for the Eastwood single voltage. I'm gonna attempt to hook everything up, plug it, and I'll see if it communicates with the uh, Fuji system well, because you do need an air supply to operate this system here. And I don't have a compressor, so I will be attempting to powder coat with my Fuji system. And that's where that comes into play. But not only powder coat, this system here is gonna paint this whole car. Doing a little bit of welding work, but that's a whole nother video. Alrighty, YouTube, and I kinda just wanted to do an open box to show you what came with this. You pretty much get your gun, but just remember you're going to need an air supply. Okay, YouTube, and I'll update you uh, with any other information that I come up with. Thank you. Oh, okay. And as we move on to this section here, I pretty much got a small makeshift setup. 
Uh, and uh, I know the last video I said I would attempt to powder coat with the Eastwood powder coat gun with the uh, Fuji turbine system that I have. But the thing is, Fuji, uh, because they're such an outside company, they're a great company also, their connections do not work with the Eastwood. And uh, no matter where I looked, I could not find a connection that would actually fit the turbine fitting. So what I have here, went to my local Harbor Freight, purchased a cable, connected it to the Eastwood gun here. And then what we have here, I also purchased a compressor. It's made by Fortress, uh, 175 PSI. And this is all the information here you need to know, but it's a six gallon compressor. And this is uh, pretty much just for powder coating. If the Fuji worked, I would have never bought this, but because I could not get it to work, I had to purchase this. But it seems to be one of the uh, better quality compressors that they have in that store. And for the price, you know, I just thought I'd go ahead with it. But as you can see here, got the Eastwood plugged in. Got some gold powder coating in there. I'm not sure if that's enough, but I'm going to give it a try. This is just a test run. Make sure everything is working, not to just have it sit around. And then when we come around here, I also purchased uh, a little oven, which I thought that would be good enough. And I have a little metal piece in there that's kind of uh, cooling down. I set it to 400 degrees and it did reach that. With my temperature gun, I'm let it, gonna let it go down to maybe 250 and then I'll pull it out. Well, it's at uh, 245 now, so that's good enough. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull that out and then I'm gonna uh, attempt to powder coat. And these are the reasons for the powder coating here. Some emblems, little ornament here I plan to hang on the front of the car, and I actually want to do it in gold. Kind of just doing it myself, but before I do that, I have a lot of pitting here, which I'm gonna address as soon as my uh, Bondo comes in, my high temp Bondo. And this is the car that I'm working on. It's a 66 Impala. I'm attempting to do certain things myself. Very handy guy, and I also, also enjoy the process. But this is my makeshift little table area in which I'm gonna bring the little rack around with the piece and I'll attempt to uh, spray here. And I'll upload another video once that's done. Okay, this is gonna be my first attempt here. And as you can see, I do have my gloves on. Also face mask, just to not breathe in the harmful chemicals. And I have a little makeshift setup here. I have my powder coat ready to go, and then we're going to give this a test here. And since we're doing this live, you don't want to forget your grounding table that you must connect here. So I'm going to keep it on the same area as the part that I'm spraying. And it would be good to put a little piece of plastic over that so that it does not pretty much want to keep a neat area. I'm going to cut a piece of plastic here so that it does not ruin my new machine. Just don't want to get the powder all over the cable and everything, so I'm pretty much just going to put this here like that. And then we'll give it a go. thing I forgot to bring up here because it's a new compressor I have already broken it in but I have to let it run for 15 minutes just to let the pressure build up and once that does I'll continue the video the compressor is still loading but there we go we're at a uh, pretty much uh, tank pressure is at 
I'd say between 150 and 200, so 175, and it just stops, so that means that the tank is full of air here. And I'm going to proceed to uh, see if the spray gun is working. I'll place my phone here. Well, actually, before I do that, I'm just going to hold it. And let's see if we have any pressure. There's nothing happening, so... Let me just run here. I'm going to turn up the pressure a little on the tank. Okay. And I can hear, if you can hear that, as I adjusted the air valve here, there's actually air going into the Eastwood gun now. And I'm just going to turn it up a little more, maybe uh, I'd say a little below 30 PSI. And uh, we'll see what we have here. Okay, so we do have the gun working, and I'm going to attempt to spray here now. Well, I'm going to bring the pressure down because as I'm blowing the uh, powder, it's actually blowing it off because the pressure is too strong. So I'm just going to bring it down a little. I'll probably bring it down to 15 PSI. So I'm down just a little below 15 PSI here. We'll see how this works. And I know distance also plays a factor. Now, I can talk better since the uh, compressor is off. But uh, as you can see here, there are certain spots in the uh, material where the powder just could not stick. I'm not sure if it's because of the pressure still that was probably too high. But one thing I come to see, if your pressure is too high, it actually blows the powder off. So you want to make sure that you have a nice leveled amount of pressure to where it's going towards the part but it's not blowing the powder off because it is power and it's pretty much zero weight so any bit of air will actually blow it off so i'm going to put it in my oven here which is already preheated and i have already uh heated this part here so that it outgas and I'm gonna attempt to place it here and I'll load another video. Like I was saying before YouTube, uh, seems to be a good gun, it is working. I do have some leak with leakage somewhere around here, so I'm gonna have to screw this in a little tighter. Wanna make sure that all the fittings are nicely sealed. And what I did, I did not go with the little knob that was there since I was directly aiming towards a part, but uh, 
I'll probably give this a try to see if it actually works, works better. And uh, I gotta come up with a better grounding also because I wanna make sure that everything is uh, fitted and connected the way that it should be. But this is the compressor. This is the Eastwood. Pretty much doing this at home on a 66 Impala. And, uh, and the part is actually heating here. We'll give it about 30 minutes and I'll constantly check it from time to time just to make sure and it's at 131 here, so we'll, we'll let it uh, kind of cook there. And then I'll give it like 30 minutes, and then I'll come back. We'll see what happens. Okay, just a little update here, YouTube. And uh, as you can see, I also uh, went and purchased the airline just for, uh, you know, blowing material. And I did have a little bit of leakage from the line here also. But what I did, I tightened the center area here where the sealant is. The the thread, you know, locker. And uh, that completely stopped it. But I am still getting a little bit of leakage from the Eastwood gun, so I gotta kinda examine to see where that could be coming from. But uh, so far, so good with the Fortress. The uh, Eastwood gun blown here. And we're gonna walk over to the part that I have here. And uh, it's actually still in the process, but as you can see in the corner here, that gold is actually melting on the uh, rack. But uh, the main concern is that this part, I wanna see if this gold powder coating actually works to my likings to see if I'm happy with it for the parts that I actually will be using it for. And I'll pretty much take it from there. Okay, back with another one here and uh, pretty much just following up with the piece that I have here. Not sure if the glass affects the uh, accurate reading, but uh, we're just going to check to see where that part is at now. And it's at 322. And I do have my uh, temperature set to 400 here. So we'll see if it does reach that temperature. I'll probably bring it up a little more to speed it up, but I know when it comes to curing, you don't want to go against the I guess the time that it takes for something to cure because you probably can, you know, just affect the process of the cure. So I'll leave it here for a little while, another 10 minutes, and I'll see if that temperature goes up. Okay, so we come to the finale of this video here, and as you can see, just wanna get some light to shine on there. And uh, this is actually a good gold, not the gold that I was expecting, more than likely I, I'm debating now to see whether I'm actually gonna get this gold plated or is there a better quality of gold powder that I could use because it does not resemble that real gold uh, look. But this is it here, YouTube. And as you can see, powder coated. This is my first attempt, first time, never done this before with the Eastwood powder gun, Eastwood powder gun. And this is the material here, and it's pretty much coated very well. But one thing I could say about the uh, powder coating where it's uh, different from paint, it's a much durable layer of paint. I can pretty much kind of bump this against things and it won't scratch as easy. But uh, yeah, but this is it. Without a clear coat, I may just spray a clear coat on there to see if it actually makes a difference. But this is it, the Eastwood single voltage gun and my part is complete. Thank you, YouTube.